Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. What do we know about Yetunde Banabas? Yetunde Banabas is an actress, model, beauty queen, and the film producer. How old is Yetunde? She clocked 22 in the year 2017. So she would be 25 years old in August 2020. What state is she from? She's from Kogi State. Let's talk about her education. She attended Love International Primary School in Abuja for her primary education and then King of Kings Secondary School and the Government School, both in Abuja, for her secondary education. She then attended Seriki Olokwala Production and Royal Art Academy to learn more about acting after her secondary education. Before she proceeded, before she proceeded to study public administration at the Distance Learning Institute of the University of Lagos State. Yetune Banabas grew up in a Christian home and she is the first of three daughters. She lost her father while she was pretty young in the year 2007. Since then, her mother has been playing both the fatherly role and the motherly role. So when exactly did she join the movie industry? She came into the industry in the year 2012. But then she later took a break for her studies and came back in the year 2015. How exactly did she start acting? She started acting from church. That was in Abuja because she grew up in Abuja. She has always had passion for acting and modeling. But then she needed to go to school first. So she started up with modeling. She won the most beautiful girl in Abuja in 2016-2017. And she also won Miss Tourism in Nigeria in the year 2019. She has featured in several movies including Erin Folami, My Jealous Last Burn. Oreka and Iton Inouye, just to mention a few. What movie role brought her into the limelight? A role as Miss Kwekwe for Papa Jasko series shot her into the limelight. Also, a role in Omo Yaoshun equally increased the rating in the movie industry. Apart from being an actress, she's also a producer. She has produced about five movies, including Omo Yaoshun and Mojiri, just to mention a few. Who are Yetunde Banaba's role models in the industry? In our words, my role model is Beyonce and I've always admired her. There is no perfect woman, but I like the fact that she's ambitious and hardworking. In the industry here in Nigeria, I grew up watching Omotela Jalade Ikeinde. Then I love the fact that, as a Yoruba woman, she was playing a major role in Hollywood. I pictured myself being another Yoruba superstar, acting in English-speaking movies. Right now, in the industry, I also like Midday Martins. What is her favorite chore at all? She loves cooking. She always drives great joy when she sees people eat her food with smile on their face. What is her favorite food and favorite color? Her favorite food is beans and her favorite color is pink. So does she have a beauty routine? She exfoliates regularly and she also drinks a lot of water. And most importantly, she loves her beauty sleep she said. Let's talk about her personal life. Is Yetune Banabas in a relationship or secretly engaged? Well, this is an aspect of her life that she likes to keep private. She has loads of admirers in and outside of the industry. In an interview, she revealed that, I have admirers, but you have to be yourself and face what you're doing. If you know what you want, you'll be focused and be nice to people. I don't become rude to men whenever they try to woo me. I just decline politely. What is her fashion? She likes to wear things that makes her comfortable. And she also likes to follow trends. What is Yetunde Banaba's personality? Yetunde Banaba says she's an introvert. And she does not like wearing loud makeup. So what was her parents' reaction when she ventured into the entertainment industry? While she was growing up, she told her parents that she wanted to be an actor. And they didn't object to it as she has been doing something similar from her days in the church. Her mother is always thankful to God for where she is today and she believes that God has answered her prayers. So what are the challenges that she has had so far? Well, this actress says she has faced challenges when it comes to her skin complexion. Some people say she is too light-skinned. So many people think being fair-skinned is supposed to be an advantage. But for her own case, it came as a challenge. She said, People judge her without even knowing her. She revealed that some actresses, without getting to know her, concluded that she was proud and arrogant because of her looks and the skin color. But after much dislike and hatred, some of them still tried to get close. That was when they realized that she was not actually who they thought she was. 
So basically, apart from her skin color, she does not face any other challenge in the industry. So who is yesterday Barnabas' boss in the industry? Our boss is Afiz Owo, Abiodun. So how is Yechinde able to cope, combining being an actress, model, and the beauty queen? Well, at the beginning, she had to concentrate mainly on modeling because she was in school. But later on, she went into acting. So she had to create time around everything. The people who are into four to five businesses at the same time and they are succeeding. So she said, why can't I do the same thing? So as she always been interested in beauty contests, or was it someone that encouraged her to sign up for Miss Tourism? Well, she has always had passion for pageantry. In her words, as a young girl, I was always fascinated by beauty queens and most importantly, the many lives they were able to touch and the heights they reached just by virtue of their crown. While growing up, I knew I definitely was going to give it a shot. So is Miss Tourism her first beauty contest and how far is she going in that competition? Miss Tourism Nigeria is not her first pageant. She won Miss Olokun back in the year 2013. She was also Miss Live Your Dream in the year 2014 and also won the most beautiful girl in Abuja for 2016-2017 as mentioned earlier. One of the biggest challenge many girls face in chasing being a beauty queen's dream is having their parents concert. So was it easy for her parents to agree for her to participate? In her words, I'm grateful to God for giving me the most understanding and super supportive parents any girl could ever ask for. My parents have always believed in me and my dreams were from school days. And even as an adult, they still support me. They are my biggest supporters and backbone. Many beauty queens in the past hardly see themselves winning until it happens. Did she ever see herself as the winner when she arrived at the camp? I believe strongly that if any beauty queen really persists and work tediously like I did, eyes on the prize becomes inevitable. I spent lots of fun on personal grooming costumes as well as did my best in all pre-show tasks and assignments. And even though there were so many other outstanding girls, I was focused on being the best. I didn't let the competition get to me. All I did was focus on being the very best version of myself, she said. This beauty queen has gone on to star in several blockbuster movies, including Alaya Maru, Edameji, Erifolami, Dagogo, just to mention a few. Uh, what a recognition. In the year 2019, Yesile Banabas was nominated for the Most Promising Actress of the Year at the Nigeria Achievers Awards in recognition of her various television and film roles within the year in review. Banabas was also nominated for Model of the Year at the Scream Awards 2019, as well as Beauty Queen of the Year at the Africa Choice Awards. Also in August 2019, she was selected alongside other African models by the British Broadcasting Corporation as part of a new beauty campaign tagged Ewa Tumi. In 2017, after winning the Most Beautiful Girl in Abuja competition, she went on to bag a number of notable endorsements, including an ambassadorial role with Normaval Tourism Estates in Abuja and a very lucrative endorsement deal for Multi-Choice DS TV. Taking her adventure into pageantry to the next level, she registered for the 8th edition of the nationally acclaimed Miss Tourism Nigeria Beauty Pageant and qualified as one of the top 26 finalists out of a pool that had several hundreds of aspiring queens. At the end of the night of the grand finale, she was announced as the winner following stiff competition from other contestants. This Kogi State Indigen and University of Lagos graduate also work on a Water Now project as well as a tourism film to showcase the culture and tourism potentials of Kogi states. This Kogi state indigenous has shown her dexterity and versatility in acting, and she has performed very well in several Yoba movies. We have come to the end of this episode on Yetunde Banabas. We hope you enjoyed this episode and like one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.